Hey guys, Long and Daniel here, back with another video on logarithms. In case you don't know what a logarithm is, um, well, this is basically what it is. So log base a b equals x. Okay, let's say this is the expression. Well, a to the x equals b. So, in case, since you're probably actually watching our videos, you probably know what a logarithm is, considering we do relatively high-level math. So first, look at the problem. This is from Amy 1983, number one. So look at the problem. You know, pause right now. Okay, so chances are you didn't pause, so let's go on to the solution. So basically, to solve this using the easiest method possible, the ones you find on the AOPS form, like AOPS, aren't, isn't the easiest solution. The easiest solution is to use this property, which is log a to the b equals 1 over log b to the a and why is this well let's 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 take a look so let's assume log a to the b equals x okay we want to okay so a to the x equals b if you take the root x of both sides you get this which then you can do log b to the a equals 1 over x which you then get x equals 1 over log b to the a and thus log a to the b equals 1 over log b to the a and in case you guys are wondering we have a second problem which Daniel's going to do so I don't do all the togging and yeah so uh, we need this property to solve um, this solution in the easiest way possible so uh now that we have this, so I'll just write, sorry, I'll just write it right here. Let's write it right there, so in case you know, for, in case you forget. Okay, so using this property, we convert log xw equals 24, okay? We change that into log wx equals 1 over 24, and it may not seem obvious at first, but over the years you eventually get the knack of solving these logarithmic problems by seeing patterns and stuff don't worry but please okay just just try to f follow here so log w to the y equals 1 over 40 now the reason we do this is because we notice that in each of these expressions we all have a different base and different bases are really ugly and we all notice that um W is common in all of these. So if we take the reciprocals, we're, we actually have a nice, easy base to work with. We all have base W. And here's another property of logs that you need to solve this problem. Mainly that log A to the B plus log A to the C equals log A to the BC. This is an identity. You need to solve this problem. And, well, you, you you can sort of see why. I mean, um, let's see. So, A to the log AB plus log AC would equal A to the log AB, A to the log AC, which would equal... If if you think about it, like let's say that um, a to the what power equals b. That's that's what this is expressing. So a to the what power equals b. And if you do a to the a to the what power equals b, you you basically this equals b. Because if you think about it, if a to the power of this equals x, if this expression equals like x, a to the power of, of x equals b. So this equals x. So a to the power x we know from log this would equal b. So this is essentially if you use it on the other one, it's sort of hard to understand, but if you if you if you think about it logically and actually take the time to um, think about why this is, this is equal to b times c, which means basically that log a to the b c equals b c, and and this is true. So this is true based on uh, what log means. So this all works out. So if 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 you um if you do it this way then you know that uh let me let me sorry let me, let me just clear this up except for that identity i want to keep that identity 
Ah, whoops. Not want to do that. Alright, so we want to keep that identity. So, we know this. Okay, so we know these. So, uh, if, if, if we want to find log z to the w, we, we can, we can, we can actually derive this, which is 1 over log w to the z, and we've noticed that this is also base w, and based on what we know here, we can, we can derive this. So, log wx plus log wy plus log wz equals log wxyz. Sorry, sort of cramped there. But you get the idea. Since we know log x and we know log d log y and we know log x y z, we can we can use algebra to get log w z. So we get one twelve plus one forty log w z equals. Oh, sorry. Um, this is twenty four equals one twelve, and then you get log w z equals one sixty. It's one sixty, right, Daniel? I did my math right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, good, good. Yeah, Daniel exists. I know it's amazing. So, uh if you if you get this, then you can find a uh, log z to the w equals 60. This is how you solve the problem. I mean, if you study the problem long enough, there are other ways to do it. Uh more instinctual ways to do it, but we're not going to go into them. This is the fastest solution, and if you've ever been to competitions before, you, and with experience, you get to have an eye for these really fast solutions to use these identities and things and apply them in these problems so this solution may not come to you for at first instinctually but it is a clever way to use these identities to solve this problem and without further ado I'll let Daniel do uh, do the next problem the number of steps it would take now um considering this let's try to find a more crap sorry Let's try to find a more efficient method. 